Hi everyone, this is Kara. Um, I'm doing my birch box review, my August birch box review. It's now 2.30 in the morning. I was traveling all night last night and I got home at 9.30 and I was 9.30 last night and I was so excited to open up the boxes that I got. One of them was birch box and um, I got a couple other uh, boxes and things that I'm going to review tomorrow. Um, but the reason why I'm doing the birch box review now at 2.30 in the morning is because I wasn't planning on doing them but I laid down and I started um, looking at other people's birch box reviews and um, although I didn't receive the same thing that everybody else received, in fact, I have not seen anyone with the same box as mine yet. Um, I was a little bit disappointed this month, and so was everyone else, it seems. Unless, well, not everyone, but a lot of other people were a little bit disappointed. So I just wanted to go over my box, because like I said, I haven't seen anybody um, with my exact box yet. Initially, when I first picked it up, it was kind of light, you know? I was not, I was like, what's in here? The other ones seemed a little bit heavier. So I opened it up. And I got the card, which I never really read through right away because um, I like to just kind of see what I get and then read the card. Um, so I opened it up, Thank you. and I got a postcard. And it's a nice postcard, but it's a postcard. And then the first sample I got was a, just a um, perfume sample. And it's um, a nice orange sanguine cologne, but you know what? You can go into a Sephora or anywhere really and ask for a sample. So, although it's it's nice, I smelled it. It smells nice. It's you know I wasn't overly impressed. Um, another sample that I got was a little teeny tiny um, under eye cream. It's deep puffs and hydrates the under eye area. It's very small. And 0.5 ounces is $95, and this is not even 0.1 ounce. This is like 0.03 ounces or something. So we'll see. I mean, I can always use under eye cream, and maybe it works really well, but again, very tiny. Um, the next thing I got was this little packet, and it's called fix wish wash and it's an exfoliator and it's one of those powders that you just add water to and it becomes an exfoliator and you know it's it's very small I that's what I think and you know maybe it's good and I haven't tried it yet and I'll do a review on it when I do um, 1.06 ounces is $40 and it doesn't even say how much how big this is but it, it, it's kind of small so I don't even know how much it's worth um, I did get this this tie when when I first saw it in there I thought maybe it was extra string, but it's not. It's um, it's a twist pan, and um, they say it looks as good on your wrist as it does in your hair. And actually, I kind of like it, and I don't know why really. I've been wearing it all bit all night. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Um, the last thing that I got, the last sample that I got is um a mascara, and it came in this little tube, and the tube is actually kind of cute. Um. It looks like a little cigar holder, um, but it's um, it's Blink mascara, and everyone else's review I saw had um, the Blink eyeliner, um, so I have to say that I'm glad that I got the mascara because I would have been really I have so much eyeliner I really wouldn't have needed that. I have a lot of mascara too, but you know I don't know. So this says that it is it won't smudge, smear, or run. So we'll see, and it's. Um, the full size is worth is uh, 0.21 ounces and it's $24 and this is half of that so it's worth $12. And it's you know it's got just little tiny bristles. So we'll see how it works. Um so dollar amount this is definitely worth over $10 so I, I guess we really can't complain. Um but it's I don't know, maybe maybe we're spoiled, you know, or maybe I got spoiled. The last couple boxes were really cool, and I was really impressed by them. So I'm going to give it um, at least another month. I don't, you know, I'm not going to just throw it away in a minute. Ten It's just it's $10. It's not like it's $40, um, like the beauty test tube. I actually, I did it twice, and I just didn't feel like it was really worth it, and so I, I stopped it. Um, so, But I'm going to give Birchbox another month or two and see see what they can do. Um, 
I, like I said, um, I have a couple other reviews to do. I um, also subscribed to Go Go Girlfriend this month, and they it was an amazing box. Um, I also got the Echo Emmy bonus box, and that was amazing also. So I'm really excited to do those reviews tomorrow. Um, and then I also ordered a bunch of stuff from eBay and then um, some other stores online. So I'm going to try to get a chance to do some of those tomorrow. So I just wanted to put my two cents in. Um, if anybody um, has gotten the same box as I have, um, feel free to reply and, and give me your thoughts on, 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 you know, what you got or how you feel about what you got. Um, and, you know, if anybody has got different stuff, you know, feel free to share whatever that was. And again, you know... It's not horrible. It wasn't a horrible box. Um, and maybe the products are really, really good. And we'll be like, whoa, no wonder it was just a few things. Um, so, you know, I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow and go over some more reviews. And I hope that whatever birch boxes you guys got, you, you like. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. So do what you do and do it well. Good night.